the way the light shines in in this building is is amazing um, and the way it reflects onto the old uh, desks which were used quite a long time ago um, I think I found the the desks quite interesting and I quite liked using because I was using inks as well so the on the school table there were those ink pots and there would have been nibs as well so I was sort of using materials which children or te teachers might have taught children how to use uh, and write with I think the more the more you walk around the place and just observe um, all the different sort of record I mean we seem obsessed like I was just looking at all the um, the, the all the kids which have just written their name like their initials like you know why are we obsessed with like leaving our mark like our marks on like the um, on the building uh, and even today you know there were people outside um, back when I was when I was doing it people again were like with a permanent marker just like scoring their name um, as like graffiti um, but we it's strange because you know we look at this and we think oh you know that's part of the building now but people are doing it outside and you know it's considered graffiti but you know that we, they've done it here you know that's not been removed so so I thought I was closely connected to that history of, of it used to be at school and very young and active and you know lots of things must have been going on and for the eight eight or so months of me making this large charcoal drawing which only began with one A4 sheet of paper um, then almost exploded into about three meter by two and a half meter drawing um, which was quite I suppose quite ambitious but I mean I, I didn't even know how large it was going to get but it's just I just wanted to capture everything in this space um, and then deal with because you're dealing with very strong perspective lines as well so it was quite tricky to to combat that as well and to fix the problems but also the the line of the perspective line would then change as you as you broaden your uh, scope of the whole picture frame so then you've got to sort of deal with other things going on um, but yeah it was a really it's a really interesting like uh, residency um, and it's great to be in here and sort of I was sort of on my own sort of during Fridays usually and I'd be there for about the best part of the whole day so six to eight hours um, just right in the centre of of the of the of Barnstable um, and it's great just getting a feeling in the sense of the the place because it took me a good three or four months just to realised that I wanted to make this large drawing. Um, the drawings and sketches which are now back in the studio, um, I look back on and feel um, like I've sort of captured a, a, a bit of um, St Anne's in a way and I've captured its history as it's now changed into um, something out and changed into a new new building space it's been used as an active space so I I feel that even though the past 10 years when it wasn't used you know there's still it's still there as it were you know it's not going this building isn't hasn't moved at all but it's, it's still present and so I just I just feel that I've just captured that sort of um, presence of it before its um, renovation.